so it doesn't tear. <laughs> yeah, it tears, but it tears the bag up. Uh, yeah, hello, Dick. Wow. Okay, very good. So, can you hear me? Testing one, two, three. I can hear uh, you fine. I, I think, uh, let's see, I'm recording there, recording there. Uh, I'll play there. Um, all right. So, I think I'm ready to do this. Let me think about the date. It's the 11th of the June month, and it's a Saturday. <laughs> and this is episode 480 of the Giz Fit. So, this is episode 480 of the Giz Fizz, recorded Saturday, June 11th, 2022. And it begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Hey, so that was a good trial run. Yay. <laughs> All right. So uh, I should probably turn the, the new silent version. Yeah, you know, pot up the, these machines over here so that we can make funny noises. <laughs> None of that. No, no, no. Good Giz Fizz AM. We're gonna have a Giz Fizz AM. Uh, oh no, because Mike is gonna be here when Leo's on things, so it'll be regular Giz Fizz. But there, there will be a Giz Fizz AM in our future. Um, when okay. We have a pre-recorded. Oh, is Leo doing a tape ahead? Well, that. Uh, Maybe, maybe not. You know, I th he's got, he found out that he actually gets vacation days. For years and years and years, he took no days off. And when he took days off, he pre-recorded shows. And then right. Lisa told him, you know, you're allowed to take vacation days every year. So we haven't done pre-records in a long time. Which, oh. you know, is fine with me because it's an extra lot of work for everybody, including me. But uh, especially yeah. the, especially Laura, because Laura then has to play those pre-records back at certain times. You know, it's oh okay. so um, a lot of work for everybody. And Leo now just takes vacations and doesn't help Leo, Le Laura any because Laura still has to make up a, a best of sort of to play when oh, he takes okay. off. And there's one. Let me just look at my calendar. There's one June uh, June 25th. There's no Giz Fizz. You are because not available. I'm, is that what you're saying? Uh, I'm going to do radio on the 26th, and there's no time for a Giz Fizz because the twit is after it. And um, oh, I'm going wait, wait, to. Wait, we're doing a twit on uh, a Saturday? No. I, I'm. You're doing I'm a going Giz to... Fizz on a Saturday. You're going to do a Giz Whiz on a. You're doing Giz Fizz. You're doing your tech guy segment on a, sa on a the Sunday. On the 26th. And that's a Sunday. Yes, the 26th. And I will not be around at all on the 25th. So there's no giz fizz on the 25th. Ah, now I remember. Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's good. All right. So uh, I have, uh, I've got that all written down now. So that's my first match oh, game. Oh, good. Okay. That's my Very first good. match game answer. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, 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 so make sure the match game question is appropriate. All right. Oh, okay. So <laughs> we were, we're going to do take two. Take two. And I've potted up the volume. And uh, that's still there on auto. Okay. Again, Saturday, June 11th, 2022, Giz Fizz episode 480. And it begins, maybe, in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for. It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host. Matt, Mattis Ryder, and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. All right, who wants to be the chat room celebrity of the week? Oh, R2-D2 is volunteering. Well, wow, like electronic crickets. All right, we don't need no stinking chat room celebrity of the week. We have photo caption, photos from George Davis that you caption. You're going to do a snappy answer to a stupid question. We have Guinness World Record Funky Foods. We're going to play something from that. And we're going to watch a couple of old beer commercials and play match game. It's going to be a full hour. All right, so let's jump right into George's photos. Photo number one is 
Wow, an anvil, a 55-pound anvil with the word ideas sitting on top of it. Okay, 55-pound anvil with the word ideas written on top of it. That would have been a good question. What do you think an anvil weighs? I, I, I guess there's no standard anvil. Or what do you think an have... anvil thinks? <laughs> I don't know. Are, is there such a thing as a standard anvil? And is this one of them? Oh, you know, here we go. Shape, uh, I, the shape looks pretty standard. You know, I, I've seen that yeah. shape a lot. I can't drive 55 pounds. I want to lose weight. This picture sure is a heavy picture. Heavy thoughts. That idea went over like a lead balloon where ideas go to be flattened. Uh, wow, oh my God, they're going so fast. That's the, what's the IQ of an anvil? Heavyweight thinking, stop hitting me. If, if, if at first you don't succeed, get a bigger anvil. Willie Coyote dropped or was dropped on heavy thoughts. Ideas can weigh a lot. New, wow, oh my God. Sometimes you have to hammer in an answer, smashing ideas, doorstop. 55 pounds of steel, hammering out your ideas here. Great fishing sinker. <laughs> I think it sink you and the fishermen. Uh, your grilled cheese is flat. Let me hammer out this idea. Acme's new product meeting. Acme, great. Uh, Roadrunner hat. Anvil contemplates 55 pounds. Heavy ideas. Wasn't Willie Coyote just standing there thinking of ideas? It's not the anvil's weight. That's its capacity. That's it. What? Okay. Uh, where dumb ideas are forged, which is heavier, a 55-pound anvil or 55 pounds of feathers? Costco paperweight. Panini press. Scrub off those ideas to be useful. And we'll end with, if you don't stop hitting me, I'm calling the industrial press to stomp on you. Uh, okay, George said, for photo number one, the word idea sitting on top of an anvil, my caption is, Larry, that's the best idea you've come up with, a long, uh, come up with in a long time. It's a money maker for sure. Sure. Okay. So uh, before sure. we, I have to interrupt here. I'm sorry. I don't have to interrupt, yes. but I'm going to interrupt. Um, one of the <laughs> answers uh, reminded me of a riddle. The answer was what weighs more, the 55-pound uh, anvil or 55 pounds of feathers? The question that I remember that I love is a great question. Which would you rather have, a truckload of nickels or half a truckload of dimes? It can come out the same thing? You would think until you realize but it doesn't. dimes are a lot smaller than nickels. And you can probably get the same number of dimes in half a truck as you would of nickels. So take the dimes. Oh, okay. Yay. Okay. Anyway. Bye, well, bye. if that ever comes up, I'll... I'll I'm, I'm, <laughs> take I'm, the dimes. I'm, I'm, I'll take the dimes. I'm ready with picture uh, okay. number two. Okay. And here we are. Picture number two is... Tasty. Wow. I'm going to look at George's. Uh, George said bread balls with sesame seeds. Bread balls with sesame seeds. I wonder if this is something he made. Anyway, it's a bowl of bread balls, and they are covered in sesame seeds. Uh, Myra's lunch, dim sim for dinner it is. Uh, um, that uh, That's a sesame meatball. You've got some sesame balls. Looks like Bucci. Dessert, does Jamma B have a dime bag? Rocky Mountain <laughs> Oysters. Rocky. Oh, wow, another one. Rocky Mountain Oysters with monkey pox. Lamb fries. New baseball's gone too far. Butter up. Open sesame balls. Bowling will never be the same. A snack that'll have you flossing your teeth for the rest of the night. 
Donut holes with monkey pox. These could be fried dumplings. Spare the dough and pass the ammo. Sesame. Sesa you. <laughs> Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street Balls? Simon says open sesame. I think that is Cato. You got to try my balls. Open sesame. Let me have the bread. This is a seedy restaurant. Open sesame. <laughs> Uh, you've got some balls, mealworm balls, birds love them, sweetbreads, uh, matzo ball in disguise, open sesame, Ronald McDonald juggles these, uh, hush my puppies, and we'll end with Gumby saying all natural golf. Okay. <laughs> Uh, George said, for the round bread balls with sesame seeds, my caption is, pop these into a toaster oven for five minutes. You'll get the best, the best tasting, crispy, nutting, flavored treat. So I guess George didn't make them. Yeah, uh, I, I, okay, I, could juggle them. I could juggle them also. But, you know. Oh, you can? They would, they would, juggle, they would all land in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, photo three. Uh, uh, um. Wow. Photo three is a clean bedroom with no crap around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I, uh, a neat bedroom. I might not be familiar with. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with this at all. Uh, corner have, of a bedroom. I don't have that much free space in my house. <laughs> God, me either. Wow. So that's what a bedroom looks like without crap. It's a clean bedroom. What can I say? The bed is made. <laughs> Uh, I don't see dust thick enough to have to use a power blower. Anyway, uh, when Tor, uh, when uh, I think I told this, when Soupy and I uh, went to uh, Montreal, Soupy was uh, appearing in Hell's a Poppin', and I had written some of the stuff, and we were on a, on an interview show and. Soup, the the uh, MC asked where we were staying, and Soupy said, "We are staying at such a crappy motel that in the photos they give away at the front desk advertising the motel, the beds aren't made." <laughs> such a funny idea that they would send out advertisements with unmade beds. That would be a model home. This is the before picture on an HD TV show. And the after picture on another HGTV show. It must be a model home, museum area. B Bates Motel. And, uh, oh, ready for open house. That sounds more like it. I went back in time and here's my bedroom. Must be a hotel room. If the dollies are rocking, don't come knocking. Historic museum from the 1800s. Betsy Ross's childhood home. What's Hell's a Poppin'? Oh, Hell's a Poppin' was a crazy uh, a kind of sketch show. Um, you don't open the closet. Just don't open the closet. You actually cleaned your bedroom for once. One night stay in the 70s at a country inn. Casper is friendly. Never gets the corner seat. Casper the ghost is told to sit in the corner. This is where Jerry Faldwell liked to sit. Teenager's room before he becomes delinquent. <laughs> we'll keep the light on for you. And RF guy says, how do I get this out of Ikea? How do I get out of this Ikea? Uh, Airbnb advertisement, not for rent. The time you got lucky with, Hobby Lo with Holly Lobby. You can stay here as long as you don't touch anything. Anything with Soupy was crazy. That's true. Why are the blinds closed? To stop showing the dirt. And we'll end with Barbie's dream house. Okay. George said, George, I don't know. Maybe George has a clean house. For the cozy cornered bedroom, my caption is, Nancy, you're welcome to spend all summer long with us. If you want, we miss having guests. And don't screw the bedroom up, Nancy. Make sure you clean everything before you come out of that room.
Uh, part of the Hells of Poppin' movie. I didn't oh, even know there was a Hells of it. <laughs> no, I saw it up in the corner. <laughs> I didn't know there was a Hells of Poppin' movie. I have to go look for it. Is it on YouTube? Yeah, it says entire thing. Oh, so. oh great. And great. I and I obviously, well, I don't, obviously, I had a hard time spelling it properly. <laughs> oh, okay. I spelled it as separate yeah, all, words without a Z. <laughs> no, it's all it's all one word and hell is, Hells is with a Z. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, bum, bum. Oh, I, I, also one night there was a guy sitting in the front row who did not laugh at anything. And during the intermission, the guy, the sound guy, did not shut Soupy's mic. And over the PA system, you heard, who is that freaking jerk in the front row that hasn't smiled since he came in here. <laughs> I'm running back. I said, Soupy, your mic is on. Uh, okay. That's showbiz. Uh, okay, photo number four. Wow. Okay, this looks like a different shot of the, I think we had uh, something like this last week. Anyway, it's a very long hallway, but this one has an open door on the right. I'm reading George's description. Okay, a long, long hallway, a little man all the way down at the end. And the door on the right is open. Uh, hallway leading down to the bathroom. It's the other hall. Um, upgraded shot from last week's photo, The Shining Hotel. All doors, no windows. Uh, Get Smart 2022. Look out for Maxwell Smart. Just kidding. There is a bathroom over there. Leading lines. Putin's waiting. It's much tighter than the other one. I have a sore throat. This is not the kind of halls I wanted. Oh, that's good. Mr. Bean at the far end of the hallway. Are you the key master? Uh, Wolfenstein game, Dick's hallway to his penthouse, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the main hallway inside my mind, rich folks indoor shuffleboard wing. That's neat. Uh, uh, oh, the doctor will see you now, Gov, the Gov's doorway, Pandora's hallway, premiere exhibit at the Museum of Hallways. <laughs> Tret Library and John's office on the right. Outlook Hotel, come in if you dare. Congressional Hallway, try and locate your congressman. No running in the halls. There is a bathroom on the right. Uh, I don't know, what does GMTA mean? Um, I wonder what's behind that door. Hall Mental Lopus. Halls Mental Lopus. This is as close as Putin will get. Here's a toothbrush hot cleaning the floor. Um, Adam 24, great minds think alike. No numbers. I guess I'll knock on every door and we'll end with doors of my mind. Boy, I don't know what I'd say for this. Let's see what George did. For one long hallway with an open door on the right, my caption is, this is our refrigerated pantry, and you're welcome to take whatever you want up to your room from there. Mm. Oh, very nice. Uh, again, very nice. Again, I'm interrupting. Um, the last, one of the last uh, answers you read, uh, Doors of My Mind, reminded me yes. of The Doors of Perception, a famous book which led to the name of the band, Doors. Oh, I thought they got it from Diana Doors. Oh, The Doors of Perception. Uh, I don't know who wrote it. I could look it up really quick, but there's that. Oh, there's I, that. That's that's another okay. useless interruption by Jammer B. <laughs> uh, photo five. Oh, my word. Okay, a sky full of hot air balloons. A sky, a sky full of colorful hot air balloons. 
I might say, too many hot air balloons. Uh, Would you like to fly? Who's tripping? I like useless interruptions. Oh, that's not part of it. Okay. Uh, What is Huxley? Balloons away. And you get a balloon, and you get a balloon, and uh, Project Loon. Those left in the dust. The crazy one is in politics. Wait, wait, I forgot to pee first. Wouldn't you like to ride? Oh, never mind. Up, up, and away. Uh, Rubbing is racing. Oprah balloon day. Flame out. Time for the dogs to start barking. Powered by a political convention. Honey, hand me the BB gun. I like RVing. It's October. Must be Albuquerque. Get off of my cloud. Uh, you think you're full of hot air? Up, up, and away. Balloon Festival. A veritable cornucopia of balloons. What was air traffic control thinking? Powered by Congress. Great way to beat those high gas prices. Took me forever to blow this up. Where's Mary Poppins? Up. Oh, uh, they're going fast up, up, and away in my beautiful balloon. There's the flying nun. This ride is going to be hot, and we'll end with you pop it, you drop it. Uh, George said, for a sky full of hot air balloons, my caption is, oh, no, I got in the wrong one. This one's scheduled to go to Denver. Okay, and our final... Photo, photo number six. Hmm. Men shaking hands and behind them and at a shake case full of cash. <laughs> Two men shaking hands and a lot of cash. Make up your own captions. Shaking on it. Greasing the palms that feed them. Crooked deal is you let go first. No, you let go first. Uh, trust your bottom dollar. Backroom deal. Show me the money. This can't be legal. Shake your hand as they stab your back. Washington, D.C. The $1 million tight grip contest under the table. Money for arms. That concludes our deal. You won fair and square. Count it. It's all there. Um, Best government money can buy. Congress, Senate, lawmaking. By next week, this will be worth $40. Could be. Uh, Thank you, Senator Glay. We could do business, one suit, one supplier. Uh, Move along. No white collar crime here. Payola, farmer style. Last one touching in the hand wins the money. And none's the wiser. <laughs> Kylie Tech says, okay, the Mad Magazine is all yours now. Filling up your tank has gotten way out of hand. And we'll end, oh my God, they're going so fast. Who do you trust? And Logan Five will end with the two guys who invented that Mad Booty Rest mattress. Uh, okay, and... George said, for two men shaking hands, my caption is, Kevin, I want to thank you for this help during these hard times. The cash will come in handy for sure. Okay. And now, our new fun part of George's email. Interesting facts. What? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I just read the whole thing. And I, now I think the number is low. Interesting fact number one. An estimated one million dogs in the United States are to receive primary benefits in their owner's will. Okay, one million, an estimated one million dogs in the U.S. 
or to receive primary benefits in their owner's will. Well, I did it different. I left a lot of money to the person who said they will take care of Charlie <clears throat> if anything happens to us. Because I think Charlie would just spend it all right away on treats. Um, all right. If this could, this sounds complicated, if you drive forty five miles an hour on one part of Route sixty six in New Mexico, the rumble strips on the highway will cause your tires to play a rendition of America the Beautiful. It almost, it almost sounds like a fact of crap, doesn't it? If you drive 45 miles an hour on one part of Route 66 in New Mexico, the rumble streets on the highway will cause wait, your wait, wait, tires wait, to... Wait, 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 wait. Don't say. Say, will cause your tires to play blank. And now it's a, we'll now it's a match game question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Except you already okay. told us the answer. <laughs> oh, I did. Sorry about that. It's just crazy enough to be a fact. It's a music road. It is real. Yeah, I've seen video. I, I don't recall the place or the tune, but I've seen videos of such a thing. Well, maybe by next week you could find a video of such a or thing. Or maybe in the next minute. Oh, that would be even better. Well, I do fact three. Ben and Jerry learned to make ice cream by taking a $5. Oh, this is a... Well, it's true because it says it here. Ben and Jerry learned how to make ice cream by taking a $5 correspondence course from Penn State. Wow. And George ends with, it's great reading your captions, chat room. I look forward to doing it when we get together next time. Bye for now, George. So it's great. You give... George gives us great pictures and great fun facts, and he enjoys seeing what we do with them. So that's, it's good all around. Thank you, George, for these. All right. Is a riot. So, is your guess the people in the car don't hear it as much as well, people the first, on the outside? Well, the first recording we well, the problem with recording on the outside is you don't hear very much, right? You just, yeah. You just hear oh, the, that's right. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. And, and it's Doppler shifted. <laughs> yes. But yeah, the first recording we heard was from inside a car, but it was very hard to make out with all the car noise. It seemed yeah. louder on the outside, but then it go, it went by very fast. Oh, my God. How could cyclists type that? Uh, yeah, how could they go 45? <laughs> yeah. It said cyclists even enjoy. They might not get the right tone. No. But, yeah, I, that, yeah, that's cool. Thank you, George. George, George that's great. All right, we're going to do logo and factor crap. And I'm not saying you're stupid and um, mm -mm. all of those good things. All of those good things. Oh, okay. It's rare that we get categories, but we do. Call the doctor is the category. Co-branded headphone company that branded with Beats. I'm sorry, a, a rapper that co-branded his headphone company with Beats. Doc Martin, Doc Dreher. <laughs> Dreher? <laughs> Dre, is it Dre? Yeah. 
Dr. Schultz. <laughs> the first answer, Doc, again repeated, Dr. Pepper. Doc, uh, uh, Dr. Pay. <laughs> uh, do you know Myra? Dr. Mom. Uh, it is indeed. Did you know Jim and B? Oh yeah, it's a you know yeah, it's kind sure of an Apple story. Okay. You know, yeah. it was a, they did they merged with Apple at some point. Um, footwear company named after the doctor who invented it. Uh, oh, sorry. The, 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 the writing on these cards is so tiny. Uh, footwear company named after the podiatrist who invented it. Product named after the podiatrist. Oh. Dr. Feet. <laughs> Doc Martin keeps winning. Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. <laughs> the only Three Stooges cartoon that did what? It's another question. The only Three Stooges cartoon, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, that did um, podiatrist company... Uh, Jamma B, podiatrist. Uh, 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 sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, that, that uh, one, yeah, sure. It is, it is Dr. Scholl. Anybody know the only Three Stooges cartoon What that was did different something? about Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard? Something different about that cartoon? Yes. That, that. I don't got know. Got an X rating? No. <laughs> I don't think it did. Let's see if the chat no. room knows. No. Got an X rating? No. They did ads. They used the last names. It was in Spanish. I have a guess. A wild guess. Probably wrong, but... Oh, uh, go ahead. What's your guess? Had animation? No. They were dead? No. Oh, God. No. It is the only Three Stooges cartoon that won an Oscar. Well, that's special. Yeah. That's yeah. probably why, why we know of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to watch it this afternoon after the show. What did Dr. What? This is Magnifying the last question. time. <laughs> what did Dr. Pepper remove from its name? In the 1950s. What did Dr. Pepper remove from its name in the 1950s? 10, 2, and 4. Stooge. <laughs> MD. Stooge. Stooge guessed the same as me. The answer is... So infinitesimal, if that helps. Dr. Poisonous? The word Alexa? Salt and? Oh, that's funny. Well, was it originally Little Dr. Pepper? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are, are people... Wow. They, they, everybody getting it all at once. Somebody... That's yeah, weird. Yes. That, yes. That's, that's, that that's is very... <laughs> Very, I mean, very one person cheating, but everybody weird. cheating all yeah. the woods. That's got everybody. Be, that's, that's inspiration. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Well, maybe they were saying I gave it away, but I said the change is infinitesimal. Maybe that did give it away. It, it, yes, it was originally Doctor Dr. Period, and in the fifties they just made it Dr. Who? Okay. Which footwear brand associated with punk and grunge was founded by a German doctor during World War II? Uh, uh, now, chat room. Oh, you don't need it. You don't need another hint. The hint I was going to give is You've been giving the right answer all along with the wrong spelling, <laughs> but people already have corrected it. It is indeed Dr. Martin's 
but spelled M-A-R-T-E-N-S. Otto von Bismarck Athletic Shoes. <laughs> Hair doctor. That's very funny. Chat room is so funny at this. <laughs> um, mm -mm. Let's see if we got a fact of crap that we haven't done. Oh, my God. In Japan, raw horse meat is served in restaurants, and it's called Sakura. This is a fact of crap. In Japan, raw horse meat is served in restaurants and called Sakura. Mm. Yes, that's a K U R A. Fact, fact. Horse crap. Not sure, but it is crappy, crappy, crappy. Please be crap, yeah. Did they pick I don't know. Jamma B, what's your what's your guess? Fact or crap? Uh, if In Japan, fact, raw horse. If it's a fact, you I think? hope it's a very rare specialty that yeah, you can only find Myra? in one weird place. I want to say crap. Crap, okay. It is a fact. Oh. God, when the mad, when Billy took the mad group to Japan, <laughs> four of us went to a Japanese restaurant and... They were doing back then very little to help Americans. They just give you a Japanese menu. We didn't know what the hell we were ordering. And we order and they put everything on the table and we looked at each other and we didn't know what to do because no one wanted to eat anything. <laughs> and fortunately Gaines and Lenny, Bill Gaines was in a you know, big. And Lenny big. And they Walk, we're walking by and we were sitting at, in a window seat and we knocked on the window and we said, we pointed down and they came in and we said, we want to go someplace else. Can you two guys eat all this? And they said, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got up and left and um, we went to another restaurant and found something in that, a place that had an English menu. And Mr. Oh, Gaines we tried to... Mr. Gaines didn't Adolf. have to order for the table. No, no. The table ordered him. Uh, exactly. And uh, we made a faux pas and left a tip. And they came running after us. No, no, please, sir. No, you don't. You can't do that. Um, anyway, right. we had some great adventures with uh, with Gaines. Yeah, so lucky. <laughs> we, we in France. We were, Bill always, <clears throat> we always had our own bus. And we were driving through the <clears throat> French countryside. And Bill, I, and I forgot who it was, we go up. We go to this enormous restaurant. There is no one in the restaurant. Maybe three tables out of 50. And they tell us, I'm sorry, we uh, have all reservations. We have no room. <laughs> they just didn't want a busload <clears throat> of tourists. So Billy said to me, go get Lenny, because Lenny speaks fluid French. So Lenny comes in, and, uh, da, 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 and suddenly, oh, ha, ha, oh, yeah, I'll bring the bus in. Oh, have a good one. <laughs> so we had a great lunch. But if it wasn't for Lenny speaking French, we would not have gotten into that uh, restaurant. Uh, uh, um. Oh, okay. What company uses the slogan, or has used the slogan, easy, breezy, beautiful? What company used or used the slogan, easy, breezy, Beautiful. Ajax. 
Myra, any idea? Not a clue. Jamma B? I do not know. Um, oh. Chat room. All right. Boy, at least half of you have it. Easy, breezy, beautiful is not liquid plumber. Cover girl. Cover girl. Who uses this? Oh, this could be anything. Well, let's just see if he knows ex, uh, exactly which. What company uses Smile Brighter? Smile Brighter. That's going to be hard because almost any company could have used that. Smile Brighter. Sometimes these are fun <laughs> because <clears throat> everybody gets it at once and you realize there's a campaign that paid off. And then no one gets it. Smile brighter. <laughs> mm -mm. No, no one. No one, no one. The Electric Denture Company, Magalite, Westinghouse. Gemma B, any idea? Uh, if all the answers in the uh, chat room have been wrong, I sure don't have an idea. No. Okay. Myra, any idea? Not a clue. All right. It is a, a very trident white. Oh, my God. Ms. D. Ms. D, you just got it under the wire. Trident. Tri trident white. Oh, okay. Now we should get... I'm going to say 90% right answers. What company uses Where's the Beef? What company uses Where's the Beef? And then, of course, we have a lot of wrong answers. <laughs> uh, 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 You know, Myra? Well, I thought it was Burger King, but I guess I'm wrong. What did you think it was, Burger I King? It was Burger King. Okay. Jamma B, what did you have? Uh, I had the, um, uh, the, I had the square one, you know, the, the square burger that somebody's daughter oh, made. Oh, uh, uh, that's Wendy's. That is Wendy's. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. <laughs> Where's the beef? Some hamburger places give you a lot less beef on a lot of bun. Where's the beef? At Wendy's, we serve a hamburger we modestly call a single. And Wendy's single has more beef than the Whopper or Big Mac. At Wendy's, you get more beef and less bun. Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. You want something better. You're Wendy's kind of people. <laughs> That's very funny. That's yeah, it was very a funny. classic, no doubt. Yeah. Um, all right, we're doing a I'm not saying you're stupid card. Boy, I don't know this. How old was Elvis when he died? Not as old as he should have been. Wow. How old was Elvis when he died? Um, I'm going. Oh, Mandy and I match. Uh, I'm going with Subaru. Super, Superu, Superu. I meant wow. Oh no, I don't think he died. Raven, as Raven, young as some Subaru. Of these, some of Merce these Angel. Ends. They got the secret. Wow, Myra, what's your answer? Fifty-seven. Myra, fifty-seven. Mine is fifty-seven. Jamma B, well, yours I is? I thought 56, but I'm really thinking he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> you could be right. Okay. You know, I, I, How think old I, saw, was I think I saw him at the Butter and Eggs Festival. Oh, you know, if any place he would be there. Oh, my God. Elvis died at 42. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Did he die of... Fat? I mean... Uh, I think it was uh, peanut butter and bananas on the toilet. Wow. 
He sure made a lot of movies for someone who died that young. Wow. Um, oh, my God. Get ready to put answers down in big numbers. How many jelly beans are consumed in the U.S. every year at Easter? Is this on Easter or Holy Week? It just says at Easter. How many jelly beans are consumed in the U.S. each year at Easter? So I guess we'll go with the day. All of them. Tons. A billion. Yeah. Uh, there's got to be millions, right? I'm going with... It's a stupid... Uh, I'm going with... 25 million. What's your answer? It was 6,768,000. Oh, Myra's right on. She's very close. Jamma B? 10 million. 10 million. Okay, I'm in with 25 million. Hawks Post is in with 8.2 million. Stooge, 2 billion. Dale Paco. And Myra 42. Joyce, what was Myra Joyce's again? <laughs> can, can she repeat it? Yes. <laughs> 6,768,356. That's uh, got to be right. That is, I mean, it's so precise. How can it be oh, wrong? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, my God. What? Eric Duckman. Cheated again? No, unless he has this set. The answer is 16 billion. Well, that's a lot of jelly beans. That is. Now, okay, so unless he's cunning and there's a way, I guess you could just look that up elsewhere, but... Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Um, we have one more on this card. How many gallons of water does a milk dairy cow drink in a day? How many gallons of water? So basically, the farm, the farm is lucky. The, the cow drinks water and it comes out milk? <laughs> How many gallons of water does a milking cow drink in a day? And the brown cows uh, give the chocolate milk. Yeah. And when you shake them up, you get a milkshake. Um, uh, I'm going to say 15 gallons, but that's a lot of drinking. Uh, 42 gallons? What? 10 gallons? 45 gallons? What? What's your answer, Mara? How much uh, water? I don't know, 10 gallons. 10 gallons? Yeah, B, how many gallons of water? Too, 10. 10 gallons, okay. Uh, I have 15 gallons. Uh, uh, how many gallons of water does a milk dairy cow give in a, uh, drink in a day? Wow! 30. Thirsty. Yeah. Holy cow. You know, those All cows are right. big. Relative to you and me, those cows are pretty big. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I drink 10 gallons a day, so. You, you know, what? Well, actually. You don't drink 10. I filled my 64-ounce uh, water bottle like three times. So 64 ounces times three. I'm sure that's 10 gallons. No, isn't 64 ounces just one gallon? Okay, three gallons. Okay, so the, the, oh, cow, is ten time, may... ten, the cow is 10 times thirstier than I am. Okay, now that makes more sense. Um, okay, uh, the Guinness Book of World Records. This is a very funny one. <laughs> what was the... Oh, and I'm, I'm going to look at the answer because we need to know... Uh, what we're talking about in for the answer. All right, the answer is in ounces, okay? Uh-uh. 
What was the most jelly eaten with chopsticks in one minute? (laughs) That's pretty sweet. Oh my God! This—that's a great thing for a party. <clears throat> Most jelly eaten with chopsticks in one minute. Out wielding for ounces. Twenty-one, sixty-four ounces. Thirty-two ounces. Uh, all right, Jamma B. Most jelly eaten with chopsticks in a minute, in ounces. Oh, you can't eat. I'm oh, two ounces. No. Uh, I'm gonna go with six ounces. Myra. Four. Four ounces, and Jamma B. Two. Two ounces. RF guy says Asians can break that record. Oh, I, I see. He he's saying that according to the picture, that guy has a lot of jelly. And that looks like a chopstick. It doesn't look like yeah. chopstick. It almost does like it that does like two separate. Is that one chopstick? <laughs> what was kind of jelly? It doesn't say what kind of jelly. Marble. Uh, the cafe. Is it jam? Uh, it just says jelly. Most jelly eaten with chopsticks in one minute. Uh, on October 21st, 2007, at a cafe in the Jamaica, New York, uh, Rista Furman ate 16.5 ounces of jelly with a chopstick. With a chopstick. In, in 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 sixty seconds, yeah. Wow, I, I uh, jelly must be heavy. <laughs> Maybe it was petroleum jelly. Um, bum bum. Okay, we're gonna do a. I'll give you the, the stupid question, and you give the stupid answer, and. Okay, these only have one answer, so I'll cover it. Um, I can't even pronounce the guy's name. Okay, so it's on the door, Zigat Shanuk, whatever, and the guy comes in. I use Zigat Shanuk, and the window says Zigzag Shanut, and there's a big sign in front of the guy that says the name, and the messenger said, "Are you Zigat Shanut?" And the man behind the desk says, The man behind, no, I'm Bill. <laughs> That's funny. No, I'm Bill. No. I think bless you is an appropriate answer, and we're getting a lot of those. Oh, that's funny. No, I'm Bob. No, you're looking for the man on the sign. No, I'm filling in for him today. Oh, that's funny. No, he's next door. I'm just the guy who sits here in his place answering stupid questions. No, that's my son. I'm Mr. (laughs) Schnegnook. That's my brother. Uh, Al Jaffe's answer is no. I'm Rock Hudson. I just knew Sigvat Chanuk because it's easier to remember. <laughs> um, okay. We're going to do a little... Is Alex with us? Calling him up now. Okay. Very. Oh, you know, actually, can you do two beer commercials? And I'm going to just have a drink of soda. I bet I can. Let's see. I want to okay. make sure that that's turned up. I just need Hang on, minutes. Alex. We're going to drink some beer. <laughs> they have approved this company. 
finest beer. So wherever you are, ask for Blatz. Blatz is Milwaukee's finest beer. Miss, pardon me, miss. Uh, Could I please have a glass of Jack's beer, the beer with the real beer taste? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, come in. I'm crazy about Jack's. You know, it's premium brewed from 100% natural ingredients. Yeah, they, they call it Mellow Jack's. Mellow, bright, clear, and light. That's why I love it. Yeah, here you are. Mmm. Thanks a lot. Say, uh, you, uh... Ah, oh, it's delicious. You're, uh, you're a kangaroo, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, just, uh, wondered, because we don't, you know, we don't get many kangaroos in here. No, no, I, I imagine. Didn't mean to stare at you or anything. I love it. that, Jack. You know, it's never heavy, never harsh. Yeah, it's got, uh, real beer taste. Yeah. You, uh, kangaroos, uh, uh, I mean, do you like beer? You drink a lot of beer? Well, I can't speak for all kangaroos, mm -hmm. but I know I'm crazy about Jack's. You, you as an individual. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, you know, I mean, how do I know, uh... How do I know you're not a man in a kangaroo suit? Well, you don't? Is this Mike Nichols on the How do I know me? that you're not a kangaroo in a girl suit? I bet it Could was. be. Nichols and May. The voices sound familiar. Uh, yeah, they do. Okay. Um, Alex, how are you? <clears throat> Is Alex, Alex I'm with good, us? once I unmuted myself. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> how are you? Uh, I found this... It's so funny. All right. This was played by Wally Cox and Selma Diamond. Very unlike, I can't even remember writing this. Um, Mary said, if I could redesign my home, I would like to have more blank. Mary said, if I redesign my home... I would like to have more. Let's see. Oh, you always some good answers. Oh, <laughs> more husbands. That's very funny. God, I thought everybody was going to write my answer. I don't think anybody has. More cowbell, more money, more space, more dog doors, solar panels. Finally. Oh, finally. Some, okay. Uh, okay, I was going to start with you. Mary said... If I could redesign my home, I would like to have more bomb-proof. <laughs> For, oh, she lives in the house in the middle. Jammer B, if I could redesign my home, I would have more closets. Dick D said, if I redesign, I would have more closets. And Myra said, oh, Myra got some matches too, more counter space. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> Janet wanted to give birth to the blues, so she swallowed a blank. Janet wanted to give birth to the blues, so she swallowed a blank. Oh, that's fu oh my god! Oh, that's so funny! 
Oh, that is so funny. Paint, blueberries, a fountain pen. That is a riot. A blue crayon. Mandy the Clown, a trumpet. Tidy Bowl Man. Oh, this, all, this is so bizarre. Uh, Myra, Janet wanted to give birth to the blues, so she swallowed a inkwell. Mm. Yeah, Dale Paco. No, Dale Paco said inkwell. Uh, Janet wanted to give birth to the blues, so she swallowed uh, Mandy the Clown. She swallowed a trumpet. Gemma B, birth to the blues. She swallowed a saxophone. There you go. And Alex, birth of the blues by swallowing a trumpet. Yay. All right. Uh, um. Um. Okay. I think we did this before, but it doesn't matter. John said, I saw the most amazing magician last night. I saw the most amazing magician last night. <laughs> he didn't pull a rabbit out of a hat. He pulled a blank out of a hat. I saw the most amazing magician last night. He didn't pull a rabbit out of a hat. He pulled a blank out of a hat. Now I'm changing my answer. Just in case, well, I'll explain when I show it. Uh, wow, anaconda. He pulled a hat out of a rabbit, a grenade pin, an elephant, Elma Fudd, a rattlesnake, another person, a Playboy bunny. Oh, okay, all right. So my answer paid off a little bit. Uh, Jamma B, I saw a magician last night. He was so amazed he didn't pull a rabbit out of a hat. He pulled a blank out of a hat, a head. <clears throat> Alex, he pulled a blank out of a hat, a lion. Uh, I thought people might remember the commercial we just saw. I got two, two matches. He pulled a kangaroo out of a hat. Otherwise, it would have said elephant. Oh. And Myra said, elephant. And there were some matches there. Okay. Very good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cosmetic companies are always trying to find new ways for women to spend money. There was nail polish, teeth polish, toe polish. Now they're trying to push blank polish. Cosmetics company are always looking for new ways to make women spend money. Nail polish, toe polish, teeth polish. Now they're trying to push... Oh, if you watch the show a lot... Uh huh. Oh, butt polish. <laughs> Spitting polish. Belly button, nose hair. Elbow. Charlie, a couple more. Okay, a couple of you know the traditional fallback match game answer. So I'll start with me. Nail polish. Toe polish, teeth polish, and now they're pushing boob. Myra, belly button. You got some matches. Belly button. Myra said belly button. Jamma B. Now they're pushing gazelle. Oh, my God. We haven't had a gazelle in years or months. Alex, now they're pushing blank polish, hair polish. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, 
Oh, well, poor John. Poor Harvey. Harvey said, talk about being humiliated. I was fired today. I'm not being replaced by a computer. I'm being replaced by a blank. Harvey said, talk about being humiliated. I was fired today. I'm not even being replaced by a computer. I'm being replaced by a blank. There are a couple of good answers. <laughs> a wastebasket, an abacus, a statue, a monkey, a mouse, uh, uh, a rock, a robot. Oh, no one said my answer. Oh, my God. A paperweight, notepad, cuckoo clock. Um, fired today, not being replaced by a computer. I'm being replaced by a blank, Myra said. Oh, Myra got a lot of answers. I'm being replaced by a robot. Chella, you'll be next. Okay. I said, I'm being replaced by a kid. No matches. Uh, Jamma B, I'm being replaced by a water bottle. And Alex, I'm being replaced by a an iPad. Oh, that's actually a good answer. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen, he's been pant. Yes, we hear you, Charlie. But Charlie, you're a little better this time. Yeah, you waited a bit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, hang on, Charlie. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Let's go up here. Let's see if it will turn you this way. Look, look that way. Oh, boy, Charlie. <laughs> oh, Charlie, yeah, he likes it. He should be in front of the mic, Charlie. But now, oh, look at this boy. <laughs> he said, okay, where am I going now? I'm climbing up on your shoulder. I'm going to climb up on your shoulder. Oh, can you see the chat room out there? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Oh, Charlie, what a sweetheart. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Charlie. Hang on, just, just, here. Okay. All right. Oh, Charles Wonderland D. Bartolo the third. <laughs> we still like whoever came up with so wags a lot and so licks a lot. <laughs> Jim Tez. Yeah, Charlie Charlie's just great. Um all right, so all right, so next week we'll be back to do this and I guess it's the week after there's no giz fizz. Um this has been regular Old fashioned Giz Fizz. Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderlin, Myra Joyce, George Davis, Jamma B, Alex Gumpel, Beatmaster, Becky, Hawks Post. Eric Duckman, Genthman, Declare, Dwindle, Gumby, Mr. Dave, Lawn, Alon Dave, Loquacious, Mandy the Clown, Eric Duckman, ZX, Giz One, Roberto Hellman, Stooge, Chicago Tim. Oh my God, Chicago Tim's in town. This is the ZX, Morgus, Stooge, Okaroo, Gumby. My Rejoice and brought to you by Turtle Wax. Not just for turtles anymore. Whose photo is that? Oh. Uh, Jeff Jarvis. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, we'll see you all next week. Bye and bye. this week, this week, Giz Wiz is on Wednesday, okay? This week, Giz Wiz 
is on Wednesday. There's a big mad do Thursday and Friday. Okay, so Gizwiz Wednesday night and next week Wednesday night again because the following week there's a Pepcom. So two Wednesdays and then we're back to Thursdays. Okay, bye, Jammer B. Thank you. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, okay. Alex. Alex, Thanks, good guys. seeing you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. And with that, <laughs> it's time to we end bid a this fair pro- fondue. <laughs> Today's Twit Broadcasting Day has ended.